What's up family? We have some pretty striking warning messages coming out over the last 24 hours and this is getting more serious by the day. We just received word from the FBI director sending shocking warning messages across the country. The director said that we are on the verge of having terrorist attacks on our soil. Yes, we are talking about in the United States of America. As the tensions continue to build up between the war with Israel and Gaza, more threats have been intercepted by the FBI as of recently. I have a video I want to share with you in just a few moments. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Well guys, there is no secret. The war between Israel and Hamas is continuing going on in Gaza. Uh, and yes guys, as you can see, Israel continues to attack the northern Gaza area in which more than 800,000 people have fled so far and more people have actually died. But anyways, guys, in addition to that, uh, Gaza, the incursion will continue and intensify according to the Israel Defense Forces. They said this information that so far they have struck over 600 terror targets over the past few days, including weapons dep depots and anti-tank missile launching pads. Uh, but anyways, guys, like I said, uh, the war continues to go on and Israel has already stated that they are not going to stop anytime soon. They will continue to go down this war path until they reach all of Hamas terrorist groups and destroy them all together. Anyways, guys, as of recently, Israel said that they are beginning to cross the Rubicon in the Gaza Strip. And so far, guys, they are making really good uh, progress in regards to uh, taking over this particular area. But uh, anyways, guys, we did receive a warning message that is pretty much sort of related to this Israel and Hamas terrorist uh, war that's going on right now in which now the United States States is having a little bit of issues on our soil. Uh, yes, guys, we just received word directly from the FBI director in which he is warning that anti-Semitism is in the United States and it is reaching historic levels that we haven't seen in more than 20 years. Uh, yes, guys, uh, speaking to the Senate panel on Tuesday, Mr. Ray, which is the FBI director, said that 60% of all religious-based hate crimes targeted Jewish people. He added that the figure had likely increased amid the anger caused by the ongoing violence in Gaza. Other countries, including the UK and France, have also warned of the recent major uptick in the anti-Semitic uh, incidents that is going on right now. And this is a threat that is reaching in some way sort of historic levels. Uh, yes, guys, the FBI director met with Congress and told them this information during a Senate meeting. But anyways, guys, go ahead and take a look at this particular video right here. Discussions about uh, the most pressing national security threats that w and what we face and, and what we're doing to tackle them are always important, but it seems especially well-timed this year with the dangerous implications the very fluid situation in the Middle East has for our homeland security. The reality is that the terrorism threat has been elevated throughout 2023 but the ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans in the United States to a whole nother level. Since the horrific terrorist attacks committed by Hamas against innocent people in Israel a few weeks ago, we've been working around the clock to support our partners there and to protect Americans here at home. So yes, guys, as you can see, the FBI is sending this huge warning message that Hamas-inspired terrorists could actually strike in the United States. And yes, guys, this is pretty much a threat that we really haven't seen since the days of ISIS. Uh, but anyways, guys, like I said, the FBI director is warning that Hamas could inspire other individuals or small groups to attack American citizens. And yes, guys, this is going to be going on for quite some time until the war is actually over. And we have already found out that this war is far from being over right now. So yes, guys, it is getting a little bit dangerous here in the United States, just when we thought that all of these wars that are happening in other countries really doesn't necessarily affect us. But in fact, guys, because the United 
United States continues to keep its borders open and allowing pretty much to uh, anyone to just be able to walk over into this country. Uh, yes, guys, there are a lot of people here. There are a lot of hate groups and hate individuals that uh, pretty much don't like Americans. And now that this particular issue with Jewish people and uh, jihadists and all of the above, guys, uh, yes, guys, the threat level is now increasing more than what we have seen in over 20 years. Take a look at this right here, guys, where we heard a direct message coming from a Senator Ted Cruz in which he said that the risk of terrorist attacks is the highest that we have seen since 9-11. And for those of you that do not recall that, 9-11 actually happened in the year of 2001. That was more than 22 years ago, guys. And here we are facing the same type of terrorist attacks or threats to the United States on the U.S. soil, uh, we are experiencing it once again. This world is in turmoil, especially the United States. Things haven't been the same since we have experienced a pandemic in March of 2020. And guys, uh, it doesn't look like it is going to let up anytime soon. But in regards to what Ted, Senator Ted Cruz has said, he mentioned this on Tuesday and said that he believes that the risk of a terrorist attack in the United States is the highest since September the 11th of 2001. Attacks because of the ongoing war between Israel and the militant group Hamas. He said that, look, I believe that we're at a greater risk today for a major terrorist attack in the United States than we have been in any time since September the 11th. Uh, yes, guys, he said this information on Fox News on Monday, and uh, he said that, look, you can combine war in the Middle East with open and open border on our southern border. Speaking of Texas, Arizona, uh, yes, guys, those borders are actually open open. However, Texas is doing something about it right now, building their own wall. But uh, anyways, guys, prior to that, the, the borders have been pretty much open, which is allowing anyone to come into this country. And here we are, guys. We don't know necessarily whether we live next to a terrorist or someone that hates Americans. We really don't know. So uh, you need to keep your eyes peeled, guys, and pay attention to what's going on. If you see something suspicious, definitely, definitely raise alerts to this information, guys because you never know when something might strike very, very close to us. So uh, anyways, guys, you need to go ahead and raise your own alerts because uh, we could potentially have some form of terrorist attack in the United States. And yes, guys, not just only in the United States, but we are also seeing uh, some high alerts uh, with Yemen. And yes, guys, we just received word from the Saudi military and said that they are on high alert after they had some clashes with Yemen's. Uh, and yes, guys, four individuals ended up being killed. Uh, yes, guys, it says right here that uh, Yemen's Houthi uh, entered war on Israel and vowed to ramp up attacks as the conflict continues to spiral. Uh, yes, guys, Yemen's Iranian-backed Houthi rebels have wadded into a war against Israel after firing missiles and drones at the country over the Red Sea earlier yesterday. Uh, so anyways, guys, not just a war in Gaza, not just a war in Ukraine, not just potential terrorist attacks in the United States, but also in Saudi now, guys. The world is just really going crazy right now, guys. What are we going to do? Uh, the world is in an uproar right now. So I know for me, myself, all I'm going to be doing is making sure that I send up a few prayers and that hoping that all of this ends very soon. We do not need any more turmoil. We do not need any more loss of lives. We do not need any more uh, angriness in the United States as well as other countries, uh, especially dealing with uh, this issue with the Jewish people and, and all of the above. So uh, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that information with you we definitely need to be mindful of this and guys like i said if you live in the united states which i know that 99 percent of you watching this video do live in the united states uh, be mindful of this guys because you definitely need to be aware because there are people out there lurking and looking for an opportunity to take advantage of a terrorist opportunity so uh, anyways guys if you see something alert someone guys be mindful of that protect you and your family your loved ones uh but 
anyways, guys, that is what we have right now. We will continue to see uh, if we hear more information in regards to what the FBI is intercepting in regards to threats from individuals as well as uh, small groups. Uh, yes, guys, things are striking up very quickly and we don't necessarily know when it is going to end. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. And I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Rakuten, where once you sign up and use it for the first time, they are going to give you an additional $30 for free, plus the amount of money that you receive from your cash back. And just let me remind you guys that Rakuten is the number one cash back website out there. So uh, no other website is quite like it. Also, don't forget about signing up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can receive it for 30 days for free. Uh, this is a great time as Black Friday is around the corner as well as Christmas season is here, guys. But anyways, those are just a few, but be sure to check out all of them down below. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.